Oh, hey. You got loose cars like I got loose cars? I know, we all got loose cars everywhere. But uh, some guys have different ways of displaying them. And I got a new way of displaying my loose cars instead of having to go in there and dig for them. So stick around. I'm going to show you what I got and how easy it is to set them up. Be right back. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. You know, a lot of us guys have loose cars, like I just showed you how I have loose cars. And uh, they're always just everywhere. I've got boxes of them. I got them in the display over there. I got, got them down here. I got them everywhere. And um, I've always been meaning to get to set them up somewhere. Put them on a wall so I can see them and the people that come over can see them. So we were talking about them the other day, and uh, I got an email from NASCAR Displays. And uh, they said, hey, we want to send you a couple of our, our displays, and you let us know what you think about them. I said, okay, cool. So uh, a couple of days ago, I get a package in the mail, and here is the display. They even sent me a cool t-shirt. Now, this is not a cheap, flimsy Thing. It says, you know, it, it, it's plastic, um, and, but it, it's, it is very thick and very durable. There are 65 slots in here for your cars. Uh, oh, look, an S10. Yeah, me with an S10, imagine that. But you can, uh, all you do is put your car in there. And, uh, no, well, you put it on a wall and then put your cars in there. But wait, there is more because there is a dust cover that goes over it there's a uh, a nub in here and a nub over here put it on there and it clicks and it covers up your your cars and you don't have to get uh, you, you don't have to dust them now if you're like me you got stuff everywhere nobody ever dusts anything so this is probably going to be the only thing only part of my collection that doesn't have any dust on it <laughs> But uh, yeah, they are really cool. They come in clear, they come in white, and they come in black. They also have uh, different displays for carded cars. But um, I really, really like this. It's got uh, four holes in it. Comes with drywall screws, so you can put them up on your walls, uh, depending on on what you have for walls. You know, we all have different different uh, di different kind of walls in our Hot Wheel rooms. But uh, yeah, there are four holes in here. They come with four uh, drywall screws. And again, there are 65 different holes or uh, slots, partitions, whatever in here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them up over there on the wall uh, next to my, my carded stuff. And uh, we're gonna see how, I'm, I know it's really easy to do, but the thing for me is wondering where I'm going to put these because I really don't have that much room. And I want to definitely have um, some of my loose cars displayed. So uh, they're going to be over there when, I, when everybody walks down the stairs. And that's the first thing you're going to get to see. So uh, let's go get some tools and we're going to get, uh, get to put these up. All right, stick around. All right, now, I know I said we we're going to go get some tools, but the only thing I'm going to need is a screwdriver, a uh, pencil, and uh, a level. But I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking, and I'm going to put it right here inside the rail of my carded cars. It fits just right. And uh, you, all I got to do is put a hole. Where's that hole? Where'd it go? Well, it's over here somewhere. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And I know that these are level. And this is going to just go right in there like that. So I will get the screws, which I got over here. I got to put it down now. I got to walk over there. Put it down and uh, get my screwdriver. And we're all set. Hey 
you know, I've been thinking about it, and uh, the good thing that these guys did is they, uh, here's the holes that you put them up with. They are 16 on center. So what that means is your walls, when they frame them, they're 16 inches on center. So I would rather put these into a stud than to just put them in the de definitely don't just put a screw into the drywall all right um these are going to get heavy the drywall is not going to be strong enough to keep them up there if you're going to put them in the drywall make sure you use the little anchors um and do i have any here yes i do so this is what i'm talking about when these little anchors put a hole in the wall put the anchor in there put the screw in this opens up Gives you a little bit more, more stability. But um, like I said, these are going to get a little bit heavy. And I'm going to put these right into the stud. And again, they were smart enough to put them 16 on center. So that means that they're 16 inches apart, the holes. And your studs will be 16 inches apart. Now, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, if we put this right here on the studs we're not going to be able to find a stud for another 16 inches which means that we're going to have to put these on this side 16 inches away we don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is i am going to put this over here Put that down there, this over here, like this. And I'm going to make my own holes in the center instead of on the end. So since we're going to be in the stud, we're going to, we're going to be pretty, pretty solid. Put one up there, one here, and one down here. Put them in, make sure that you're in the flat. And that way, we can put this here, put them down here, or... Same thing over on the other side, and they'll fit. All right? Okay. You know, when you're doing this stuff, like pool game, you got to think three shots ahead. What's going to happen next? Ten shots ahead. Who knows? But, yeah, you got to figure out what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and, uh, you know, just keep figuring it out. You don't want to get all done and go, oh, man, what did I do? All right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run them through the middle. We can put it over here through the middle and then we can just keep on going down all the way through for all the other ones that we want to change all right so i'm going to drill a tiny tiny hole in here and uh you don't want to get a big drill bit in there and uh, you, you'll crack the thing and mess it all up put a little tiny like uh probably a 16th of a drill a 16th of an inch in there and uh go from there all right pretty good tighten them up a little bit put some cars in there put the covers on We're gonna be all set didn't take us too long to put them up uh, the only uh, other thing is trying to figure out what you're gonna put in there I got a lot more things that I want to put in there so I'm gonna have to get some more uh, some more of the some more of these shelves so these are from mascardisplays.com M not N M mascardisplays.com they have white they have clear they have black they also have a setup for carded cars too um, it is uh, as you saw really simple to do and uh, you know looks pretty neat I like the dust cover thing too because these are going to be down here and of course with little kids around if the dust cover is on they're not going to be able to grab your cars right cool all right everybody thanks for watching Hot Wheels TV I always appreciate it when you stop by please 
subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please share our videos. And of course, please be kind to one another. Until the next time we see you right here in Hot Wheels TV, we hope to see you real soon somewhere. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves.